Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, home of the UK Space Agency. Now after the success of circumnavigating the globe in a bridge, why are you looking so surprised? That's exactly what we did. Uh, there's a nasty rumour that the UK Space Agency isn't a space agency, they're now a plane agency. So we're going to fix that, we're heading back to space. Now in our previous attempts we, we got pretty close to space with our snake Simon. Uh, but today we're playing Simon Says and he says, go to space please. Uh, I've got some I've got some ideas of how we can achieve this though. But as before, we will start with our command pod, which is the most important part of our ship because it contains the UK Space Agency branding. Uh, and, and it allows us to steer, which is nice. Uh, I think I've learned, I might I might be wrong, but I think I've learned this is the parachute we need every time. The big boy. It may look stupid, but uh that's what it is. And then because we're being enthusiastic, the heat shield goes on next. So as we fly back through the atmosphere, that will stop us burning up. So next we want fuel tanks. And rather than these little ones, I think I've annoyed enough people with them. We're going to do actual longer ones. So that should give us a bit more rigidity as we increase our length. Finally, we need an engine. And I think via a lot of trial and error last time, we worked out these vector ones were best. So we'll shove them there. And I think we will scale them down a bit. They're a bit large. And then we'll also give them a rotate. Nice. And that is the basics of our snake, Simon. So we should give this a little test. I've forgotten the controls. There it is. <laughs> right, excellent. Fuel's going down pretty damn quickly. But uh, we're going up fine. We've got control pretty easy. Oh, yes. Look, we're getting the old speed lines. We're actually going to space. We're only a few seconds in and we're nearly in space. Oh, we're not nearly in space. I think it's 70,000 meters. But, oh, God. We've got flames. I didn't last one. And we're out of fuel, but we're still going up. We're going to hit space. We did a jab. Jab. We're in space. Hang on. We're in space and we're out of fuel. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jeb. I didn't really think this through. I'm going to point it down. And then the only way I can think to get Jeb back safely is to fire our decoupler straight down. If that's a thing. Do I even have a decoupler? <laughs> now, let's just check our trajectory. Maybe we will come back. Oh, yeah. If we're patient, we'll come back easy. This blue line, this is our current flight path. And it's designed so that as the Earth rotates, we won't actually land. Where we took off will have moved as the Earth rotates. By the time we've gone up there, we'll land exactly where we took off from. Uh, we call that maths, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I don't, I don't need to aim him down. We'll just we'll just fast forward. We, well, that was quick. That was a bit too much speed. So as you can see, we're right above where we took off the, the, the sea. Uh, we are coming down pretty, pretty sharpish, though. Oh, I've just realized I don't have a decoupler, do I? Shit. How do I... There's a... D d ah! Ah! But with the power of engineering, we ended up back here and Jeb was fine. Right, so my plan is firstly to unclick my mouse wheel and secondly to grab this and then go... Wee! Cool, and then we grab all of this and copy underneath. And we just do this a few times. And then... Oh my god, have I done that perfect? Oh no, it's going through the ground. It's going through the ground. I thought I did it perfectly. Oh shit, what have I done? Oh, I've moved the rocket outside. <laughs> right, so something I thought we would be able to do is we can grab the rocket from down here with shift. Because if you hold shift and click, that selects the entire rocket. And then I thought we could just keep moving up. And maybe we can be in space before we even take off. Thus making the UK Space Agency do it again. Uh, so let's see what happens. So click. Can we go up? Oh, it seems to have a limit. Can you come back in here, please? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go. She's back. She's back. Uh, she is under the floor, though. Not entirely sure how that's going to work. But let's see what happens. Nice. Okay. So let's launch. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Quick, quick, quick. Before the bottom. <gasps> Bit more lift. That's it. We are snaking up. It's working. But this is sort of where we got to last time. We had a very wiggly rocket. We had Simon heading into space. Now he's got stripes. He's dangerous. He knows the deal. Uh, this is actually going surprisingly well, if I'm honest. Imagine, like, from Earth, seeing the rocket launch. <laughs> there was that much smoke <laughs> all over the place. That would be awesome. Top of our rocket looking fantastic. Bottom, not so much. A bit wiggly. Uh, we are, however, going in a pretty good orientation. Like, a normal rocket, they sort of go up and then start heading that way so we can orbit the Earth. But yeah, we're, we're halfway to space. And um, we've run out of fuel. <laughs> So now we just have a rope in space. Uh, even with the longer fuel tanks, it's still pretty ropey. Now let's have a look at our trajectory on the map view. Oh wow, look at this. I've never really seen this view before. We're like through the atmosphere and stuff. So yeah, we're currently just going up. We're not gonna, we're not, we're not gonna orbit, surprisingly. 
Yeah, we, we almost got to space. 70,000 we're aiming for, so not quite 56. So sorry, Jeb, it's back to the drawing board. Right, so I'm not sure what happened with the bottom of my rocket, whether these did spawn or they didn't. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab that much and delete it. And then we're going to do a little test. We're going to grab the entire thing, except for the command pod. We're going to do alt, which allows me to copy. So now I've got that entire length. We look down. I've got the whole rocket. So if we head down, and then if I stick that underneath, I want to know, is my rocket now twice as long? Or does it just get chopped off at the ground? Let's launch and see what happens. Oh, wow. I think it's, it's twice as tall. Oh, my God. Look at the... What? It turned into a javelin. <laughs> I think there's like... There's some sort of like feature, I guess you could call it, of this game where if you're so far away from your command pod, the physics engine doesn't work. And I think that's what happened there. When it got disconnected, the physics just went straight... In one of my previous videos, like I had a snake and it landed so far away from me that as it hit the ground, it turned as like a flagpole. You know, oh, that's really eerie. <laughs> it looks like there's some sort of like weird beings worshipping whatever's in the middle. What is in the middle? Ah, oh, the UK Space Agency flag, of course. This time we'll launch straight off, throttle up before the bottom of our rocket hits the ground. And yeah, I think, I think that's twice as long as before, isn't it? Is it? Oh my... God, look at the smoke. That's actually pretty cool. The UK Space Agency, even if we don't get to space, that's the longest rocket in the game. Oh God, the arse just exploded. <laughs> Sorry, arse. Sorry. Oh man, it's actually going kind of straight. That's cool. No matter what you say about my Kerbal skills, that's pretty sweet. Yes. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's heading down. Do I risk trying to steer this thing? God damn it, we're circumnavigating the globe in a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Oh god, oh god. Jeb, pull up, Jeb. Your ass just fell off again. Jeb, what are you doing? Pull up, man. Pull up, Jeb. Jeb. No. Oh, well, that looked, that looked fantastic from below the map. Cheers, Kerbal. So the question is, I know my rocket goes all the way down under the ground. Let's just pretend it's like a secret bunker. Uh, but the question is, can I actually add rocket to under the ground parts? I might be able to. Oh no, I don't I don't know if we actually can. I can stick it on the side. Is that useful? Oh, I've done four. I've accidentally done four. Look at the lag of that truck now. <laughs> uh, but sod it, we're doing four. Oh, I can hear my GPU fan now. Oh, there you go. It's back. It's back. I think the game's, the game's accepted its fate now. All uh, right. And because I'm not a monster, I'm going to make this aerodynamic. Oh God, that really lagged everything up. All right, let's hit launch and see how long it takes. We're in. Quick, launch. Have I... <laughs> I've broken the frame rate far too early in a video. I'm trying to throttle up and space and ne neither of them are doing it. Oh, I heard them launch. Yes, the throttle has gone up, moved very slightly. Uh, but I think this could be the longest rocket ever in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, but I might I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong. But oh no. Oh no. It's not happy. It looks cool, if anything. All right, throttles all the way. Do I risk moving the camera? I'm not sure it's worth it. I've essentially here made a mini Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Yeah, look at this. When the frame rate catches up. Oh god, there's a lot of smoke. There's a lot of engines, that's why. But let's zoom out and try and get the scale of this. Oh man. <laughs> there's so much smoke. Fair play smoke physics a game. They're, they're looking pretty decent. Sort of looks like if you're zoomed in, like looking down on a waterfall. Like Niagara Falls or something. Anyway, I'm going to risk destroying the game and speed up time by four. Alright, good luck frames. Good luck. I feel like the uh, the time warp just made it slower. Uh, on the plus side, shadow sort of looks like a knob. Oh, oh, we got movement. We got lots of movement. Is that because I see I see lots of stuff down there? I think something came off. Oh god, it's all coming off. Simon's disintegrating. <laughs> oh wow, look at Jeb's face. He, he like looked down and was like, "How many freaking rockets do you put under me, you tit, Matt?" Oh dear, we've got explosions. We've got explosions. Now at this point of the video, you might be wondering. Why the hell am I watching this? This is just a mess. There's nothing to do with what's happening on screen right now that's going to help Matt and the UK Space Agency get Simon to space. But that's where you're wrong, because look at this now. Now we are flying. Those other bits, they were just the boosters. We're 13,000 meters in the sky. And as I said, that's already gone up to 15,000. We are cruising. Jeb is happy. I 
almost have a frame rate. So it's like, oh, our rocket just collided with itself and ran out of fuel. So longest ever rocket. Now, now not quite so long. Was that any closer to orbit? I don't think that was any closer to orbit. However, with that research and development phase, that's what I'm going to call that launch. Uh, I have a cunning idea and I'm going to, I'm going to lean on my friend biology to help us a bit, I think. So I'm going to go all the way back to the top and we're actually going to delete pretty much everything. So grab that, delete. Oh, welcome back frame rate. Now, unless for now, grab all this and head back down to here. So my theory is what's stronger than a truss? And if you answered that, you are quite right. But no, this is not what I was thinking. There's actually one other element slash object that is stronger than a truss. Uh, it's not stronger than this shape, obviously, because this is the strongest shape, as many of you know. <laughs> oh man, this is really fun, actually. I may have to do a rocket like this. <laughs> Having a blast here and this around the planet. Uh, I'm 32. I'm 32. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, there's a thumbnail. There is the thumbnail. Imagine if I actually did that as a thumbnail. Oh my god, we're well in space. 100,000 meters. <laughs> Guys, anyone watching? This is what I mean by the strongest shape. With this shape, you can achieve anything. You can achieve your dreams. I had a dream once. I had a dream of becoming a YouTuber. I built this shape in a few games. Here I am. I'm doing it. Maybe you have a dream. Maybe you want to be the next president. Start here. I promise you, your dreams will come true. Anyway, look at this. We didn't quite make orbit with our schlong. Uh, but anyway, none of this was a point. None of this was a point. I've gone I've gone off on a tangent. All right, and for this one, things do get a little bit tricky. Uh, not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, if I'm honest. Uh, but we'll, we will start with that one. So the shape I'm talking about, you've got to drill right down. Like, technically, the strongest shape is made up with these. But essentially, if we take that strongest shape, and we drill down to the smallest elements, to the matter that creates it. Or well, most likely, if you just look at the thumbnail and title for the video, <laughs> you probably know where this is going. All right, so it might look like I've built nothing, but if we scroll up, you can see. <laughs> My theory here is if we start in a spiral, then uh, we can beat the system, and maybe as it tries to spiral itself, it will end up straightening out. Right? Right? That's the thing, right? Yeah, anyway, I need, to, I need to add a load of engines to this. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Do I just keep it with the four symmetry all the way around? I think that's probably the best bit, isn't it? So four symmetry, give them a rotate, scale them down a tad, and then just copy them down, I guess. Now you might still be wondering what the hell is the point of this. This is just a test before we go with the strong, the strong stuff that I was talking about. I'm not sure if I want to build it in this manner, or there is actually another way I could build it, and that's building the second strongest shape around the original Simon, rather than building it out of Simon, if that makes sense. Nope. Uh, so to save my frame rate, I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom. I think I think that's enough rocket. I can't even. That's as far as I can zoom out. We can't even can't even get the whole thing in. So uh, we'll launch this. I think I think Jeb should be able to manage it. All right, launch. Quick. We've made a helicopter snake. All right, we've got to be quicker, we've got to be quicker. Come on, come on, be the explosion. I can't see anything through that smoke. Oh, we've snapped, we've snapped. Okay, disaster. So, so as expected, that was a massive waste of time. So a new theory to get the shape that will succeed. Essentially, what I want to do, I'd love some like T-bar fuel tanks. Or actually, maybe, maybe I need to think about this a bit differently. If that will work, that could be what I'm after. Right, so to check this is all connected, I'm going to bung some rockets on the side. Some engines, sorry, technical term. Get it right, Matt. And the big question is, is this all connected? So if we launch this, oh, it looks like it is. I think the UK Space Agency could be on something here, guys. Now I'm going to turn on SAS and then we're going to throttle up and then we're going to launch. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Alex, sorry to break me. Only one rocket worked. Probably I'm going to go back into the launch menu and see which rocket worked. Right, so I think it was that one. And that's the one I placed last. Oh, they're on different stages. Idiot. So if I do that now. Yes. Oh, I'm such an idiot. It was just staging. Okay, I'm back. I'm back to confidence in the UK Space Agency now. <laughs> All right, so firstly, because I want this to get to space, I'm going to have to scale these down quite a lot. 
So now I take all this and we go up into the sky. And then through the magic of editing and time lapsing, you can watch me build this incredible structure. All right, and so then we're complete. It sort of looks like a load of firecrackers. <laughs> Uh, but it's meant to be the strongest thing known to man. DNA. Uh, hopefully, once we've got the old flames going, it should look a bit more DNA-ish. Anyway, this, <laughs> this does look wicked, to be fair. Uh, so let's give this a launch. Firstly, will it stand on its own? Or will it start to wibble and fall over? All right, so we're in. It's looking... Oh, God, no, it's collapsing. It's collapsing badly. Launch, launch. Bollocks. <laughs> we got a piece of DNA. Oh, no. <laughs> <We've> got... <laughs> oh, no. Ignore that, ignore that. Right, launch straight away. Rustle up. Yes, yes. Oh, it actually looks like DNA. That does look like DNA, doesn't it? Oh, no. Crap, we lost a load of genomes and stuff. <laughs> uh, but wow, look at that. There's a few explosions. But otherwise, it's pretty DNA-ish. Uh, we're only at 3,000 meters, though, which isn't great. We've lost a lot of DNA there. Nearly half of our DNA is gone. I don't know what that will make us. Like if we're just now like some little frog man or something. But uh, I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if it did any better. I think we're yeah we're heading we're heading down now. No, I'm not sure SAS helps. I think it's just made it's just made the journey to death even smoother. Right back to the drawing board. All right, launch straight away. Power up, power up. Yes. No explosions. No explosions. We're doing it. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're sort of doing it. Oh, I feel like our struts might actually be working. That's pretty cool looking. You've got to give me that, Kerbal people. Surely, surely I'm allowed this one. We are sending DNA to space. Oh God, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you heading down? No, don't go down. Space is the other direction. Oh, bollocks. Our ass exploded again. Bollocks. I wanted to get to space. All right, we're going to try again in a controlled manner. Throttle as low as it can go. Actually, I want to get in like an equilibrium stage where it's just hovering. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, the bot. Oh, we just missed the ground. <laughs> oh, no. More power. More power. Quick, quick, quick. Pull up, pull up. Turns out DNA is pretty explosive. <laughs> oh, shit. Quick. Oh, look how close Jeb was to death. Don't think he knew it was coming looking at his face. Uh, but technically, I, I just saved a life. All right, so this time we are actually going to go up very, very slowly. But that's going to be the key here. Just going slow. Because uh, hopefully it'll be a bit more stable. And we might actually get to space. Right? <laughs> right? A bit more power. We seem to be drifting. Oh, bollocks. The DNA just doesn't want to go to space. It knows its natural habitat. I'm going to turn on SAS and Rooks. And we'll see if that helps. I know they help normal craft. Oh, actually, that's pretty stable, I think. That's pretty good. Something just exploded. That's not bad. Look how straight it is. Stuff keeps exploding in the middle. I don't know what. Oh, no, that's a hell of a whip. That's a hell of a whip. DNA, you're meant to be straight. Well, straight but curly, you know. Uh, oh, bollocks. Looks like our attitude's going down. Don't know if there's a way to fix it. It's going down very fast now. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, this time it's with full power with SAS and Rick's on. I'm going to try and steer. Keep an eye on the top and try and steer it upwards. Or what I think is upwards. I assume I'm doing the right thing. There's a lot of turbulence in this air. <laughs> Looks like someone's just thrown like a machine gun magazine. All right, well, anyway, guys, I don't think the DNA is going to make it to space. So unfortunately, UK Space Agency, I think the dream is over. We had a good run. We had a good run. But uh, we'll come back bigger and stronger. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace, love, and DNA. And I'll catch you next time. See you guys. Bye.